Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom with a pom-pom maker that you may find in a store. I picked this one up here in Walmart and I know that they're in uh, major craft stores across North America as well. So what this is is that there's different sizes of uh, pom-pom makers. This particular kit came with all four sizes and they when you open them up you realize that you think that they're broken because they're separate units like this but in actual fact you have to have them separated in order to do it. So some people use uh, for pom-poms. They use cardboard or they could use their hand in order to make pom-poms. These have to, I have to say, they make one of the most perfect uh, pom-poms you'll ever see. So today I'm going to show you how to operate these and it's the same operation for all sizes and I will show you how to do that. So let's begin to show you. So just put the two sides, okay. The outside hinge is going to be toward the outside and the other one is to on the other side. Okay, match it up. Use the divots to hold just like you see here and just kind of pin it together. So you're going to do it in a way that is going to just hold it together as you do it. Okay, so it's just gonna be good and uh, they don't need to match each other up there. It's just as long as you're pinching here and it holds it and it just, it's just lightly holding it. Once you start wrapping it, it'll stick together without you having to hold it uh, really quite tightly. So it's just a matter of starting this and getting it wrapped around a few times. So I'm gonna use my left hand to wrap and all I wanna do is fill in the space on this whole half side. So I'm not going to jump over to the other side as of yet and I just want to continue to wrap. So I'm going to go right up to this edge and I'm going to go right up to this edge. Now you can either count it out if you want to if you would like to be really super super accurate uh, with your counting so that it's equal on both sides of this tool or what you can just do is just wrap it and make it look like it works. Okay, so because this is variegated I'm kind of just jumping around a little bit and what I want to do is I want to continue to wrap now and as you get more and more it just sticks together on its own. So once you're satisfied with it now you can just cut your yarn. So now I'm gonna jump to the other side and pinning those two other two together. I'm gonna do the same thing and just start it and wrap again like I did the other side. So continue to wrap this side and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, once you're satisfied with it all you just gotta do is trim this other yarn. So what you wanna do now at this point is that you want to close this contraption. So just close it and also open up these clips and they are locking on to its neighbor but not uh, opposite to each other. So just close it. So just lock it and lock the other side. So now the entire ring is now uh, full and now we're going to then separate these and being able to make the pom-pom. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to grab our scissors next. So with the space that is existing in between just like you see here we're gonna run our scissors through and we're just gonna start on one side and work our way to the other side. So just going right directly in half. Okay and we are just gonna gently cut I just do a few at a time if your scissors can't handle it and you do not want to let this ring go. Everything is being held into place as you're, you're doing it. Now the size of your pom pom is varied on the size of this ring but also how many times you wrap it as well. And you go right to the end. So you want to physically see this gap as you go. So now you're going to go back to the other side. Do not let this fall apart on you. Again holding everything together and you're going to do the other side now. There's nothing holding these rings together so you kind of want to hold on to it at that point. So right now I'm about to hold which I already am and I go right to the end. So now the rings are actually completely separated from each other but then it's still in the inside. So just gently put it down and I need you to grab enough strand. Now if this material is not strong enough to be tied then you gotta use a different material in order to do the tie in the middle. So what I'd recommend for you is that grabbing the same amount of yarn you're gonna wanna tie about two, three or four or five times in the middle in order to really get it to, to separate or to get it to really be tight. So just grabbing your yarn and what I like to do is that I like to use a, a, an extra um, strand of string as I'm being able to tie it to my project. So just slipping in between the two gaps, the gap spaces as you see here and you can turn it around and just bring it to the other side. Again being gentle about it 
and just bring it through. And do you see the hinging here? There is a space so the yarn will go in between that too. And you just wanna pull it through. And so just you start to tie your little knot here. So just let's do that. So let's just put that through. And really give it a good tug. And this is going on the inside of this. Pull it enough so that it's gonna form it but don't pull it enough that it's gonna ruin it. So then I'm gonna go to the other side now, turn it over and I'm gonna tie this side. So see how I just tied the other side. Now I'm gonna come to this side and tie this side and I wanna do that a few times. So I'm gonna use these two strands that are falling out as my tie strands to go to the project. So I wanna keep those and I don't wanna damage these strings. So when I go to work with this I'll leave them out. So I'm gonna tie one more time. And then we're gonna release this pom pom from the tool. Okay, so there's my strand. So now I'm just gonna hold it by those two strands. So now I can open up the tool by just releasing this, these clamps on both sides. So they're on both sides of the work here. And all I can do is to open it up now and it will release the pom pom. So there's one out. And here's the other one coming out in a second. And there is my pom pom. So now holding it by the two strings so you don't accidentally cut it. Now you just fluff it up. Okay, look how perfect that is. It looks nice and full. And you're just gonna take your scissors then and just any ones that are just abnormally long or just didn't sit right or just kinda looks like it's not working well. Then you're just gonna safely just trim it like this in order to form the pom pom like so. And give it a good shake and look at it and that's how you would create a pom pom with that. So take this other than string strands that are here and you can attach it to the top of a hat really quite easily and that's how you use all these kind of little tools. So the size of the tool uh, then gives you the size of the pom pom. So if you look at it from this point of view See this pom pom? It kind of matches that. So if you're looking for a bigger pom pom, you can use a bigger tool, like so. You'll have much bigger. And if you want smaller, then you just use a smaller, like so. So until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. Enjoy and hopefully you enjoy your new pom pom. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.